Hey folks, it's Enigmatic Rose. You can call me Rose. That's out of the way. We're going to take a look at a mod for CK3. Now, I love equality in games. That's just me. I like playing a game and being able to picture myself as the character or to roleplay the character. And I can totally roleplay as a dude. I mean, it's all about imagination, right? But I like having the option. And CK3 has been much better than CK2, or hell, CK1. CK1, you couldn't even play as a female ruler, even though there were historical female rulers. CK2 fixed that, and then CK3 made it so, you know, if you want to completely make the world topsy-turvy by coming into game rules and changing gender equality to be inverted, you can. That's awesome. It doesn't bother me in the slightest that it starts out as being historically correct because this is a historical game and that makes sense. But it is really fun because it is a game being able to invert gender equality, being able to um, change sexuality distribution. That's awesome. And of course, that doesn't fly with some people. I remember some people got very upset by the fact that, you know, we have other sexualities besides heterosexual in the game, even though in CK2 it was a trait, and here they just made it a base thing. Everyone has it. Everyone has a sexuality. It's awesome. It's great. Not getting quite into that, but what I'm getting in is I was perusing the mods uh, that went up today. I usually take a look at the ones that just came live, so brand new. Maybe they only have almost no one following them yet. And I found one that kind of gets me up on my soapbox, if you can tell by my voice. Um, so we have the Improved Concubines. Improved Concubines says female rulers can be made into concubines, but they will de depose. Concubines are automatically disinherited. Excuse me? This game also has male concubines called consorts. What about them? Why couldn't uh, Clodio here make a, a mod that did both? I totally can understand this, having, you know, improved concubines. You make you can capture a ruler and turn them into your... I don't want to use that word. That you can turn them into your concubine or consort and tear them off their throne. That would be actually really cool. But why does this specifically say female rulers? Excuse me? Why? And this went up at 12.39 today. It's now 7.15. I'm recording this. Um, 61 current subscribers, 4 current favorites. So I'm glad it's not, like, blown up. There's no awards for it yet. No one has left a comment yet. Just a refresh. Yep, no one's left a comment. Um, so we're going to go see if this is really correct that it says female rulers. So if we go here to the Great Adventurers, we're going to click on Dramadara and go check her out. I do have defaults, except down here, uh, never demonetization, please start. We're going to go in and she can have, she can have consorts down here with her religion. She's a female ruler. So we're going to see if we can capture a dude who's a ruler and make him our consort. There we go. We've got three slots. Autom off automatically, of course, we cannot make this guy into our consort because he's our husband. But we'll see about uh, one of these fellow rulers. We'll try and go raiding and capture somebody, perhaps. Let's go take a look. Or what I could also try and do is go for abduction scheme. We'll see about either way. Well, this is fortuitous. We just... Uh, Siege down this lovely holding. Well, this is fortuitous. We just sieged down this lovely holding here. We managed to capture the late ruler here, who's a bit of an adulterer. Can we make him our consort? We can. We can make him our consort. So why the hell does the description of the mod say female rulers? We told him to just made him to our consort. And now, you know, this guy is, you know, working for us. And he's, de he's deposed. His little two-year-old son is in charge. What the hell? If it works for consorts, 
why doesn't it say all rulers? Why does it specify female rulers? Excuse me. I mean, I just really? Why? Please, please pl explain to me, Claudio. Please. Why? I mean, I'm guessing the code is pretty much the same for concubines or consorts. Did they just forget that, you know, there's consorts in the game? Maybe? I don't know. He's also disinherited. He can never take land again. That's actually kind of cool. That could be really powerful and a fun mod. But why does it just say female rulers? Okay, I get it. Most of the people that play Crusader Kings or other strategy games identify as men. And they're quite vocal. At least the, that's the opinion I get. I know there are women that follow my channel. I know there are other women that stream this game that uh, make videos for this game on YouTube, make videos for other strategy games. But the large majority of people that play this game are men. And so I can get that maybe they're trying to pander to that base. But you can pander to that base without being false in your description. I mean, it works. It's a great idea for a mod. It really is. But one picture is showing uh, this guy lock up Duchess Matilda and make her his concubine, which is kind of cool. She's a famous character. So, you know, that that's a great... That's a great image to use, but seriously, it's a cool mod, but seriously, could you not say that it works for consorts as well? There you go. I'm leaving a comment. Hey, your mod works well, but please explain to me why you specify only female rulers and concubines when it works just as well for male rulers and consorts. I'm really quite curious. Post comment. All right. There we go. The, uh... Link to this mod will be in the description box down below. Don't attack this guy. I'm I'm kind of, I guess I am a little bit. I'm more attacking the, the culture that has created this sort of need or desire or why this person only thought about female rulers and concubines when there, I mean, there were consorts in CK2. It's not a new thing to CK3. I mean, I'd like to, I'd like to know. I'd like to know why. I would just want to bring attention to this and why, why do we act this way? Why do we think this way? Why does, is this, you know, the first thing that comes up about it? Concubines. And I know there's a lot more concubines on the map than consorts. There's, there's a lot more. You can see people here that I can have con consorts or secondary spouses. I mean, we have deliberate consorts. Why wouldn't they say consorts as well? I, especially when you play the game inverted and turn every, and make so the majority are consorts, not concubines. It is a great mod. Grab the mod. It It's a great mod and you can probably do some really fun shenanigans with this. I'm I'll try and play with it sometime, but... The wording? I, I, I don't know. Also, apologies for there being so long between videos. I've, I mean, I made a post in the community tab about it, but yeah, I'll, I'll talk more about that some other time. I'm sure it's not what interests y'all or why you clicked on this video, <laughs> but I'm Enigmatic Rose. And if you want to support this channel and more videos or whatnot, you know, check out down below. There's a Discord, there's a Patreon, there's a Twitter, there's a Twitch. And I hang out on all of them. I'll see y'all later. Thank you. Please remember to like, comment, and if you haven't done it already, please subscribe. I'd love to see you again. And um, I really would like to know why they didn't mention consorts. Bye, guys.